Welcome to After School Reviews. If you're new, go ahead and hit that smash, smash that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon for when I go live, if I go live, and when I do weekend uploads. If you like that intro, you're probably, well, there was two intros, or at least I hope there was, but today that's not the topic. And if you're wondering why my voice sounds different, uh, just try and guess that down in the description. Um, nothing different. But there's probably a lot of mouth noises. This is the Star Wars Black Series Captain Cassian and or Edu from the Black Series. And this was $5 bills at my Walmart. And so I did not want to pass this up because I got a Walmart gift card for Easter. And I was like, five bucks? You know, I was like, I already have gin so i might as well get this figure so i've opened them all already but uh picked out one of the best ones i think um from what they had and what the figure looks like anyway but you can see it says black series right there which is stupid because they never give you what movie it is which is stupid you need to always do that um get a nice thing here stupid black series looking painting there number 23 and I think just a little sum it up right there. Don't go anywhere. We'll have a closer look at this figure opened and out of its packaging. So don't, don't fast forward. There's, it'll be out soon. If you saw that, not slow-mo, the time-lap video I just did, um, go ahead, you know, say comment, say that's dope because I've never done that before. And, you know, I thought, why not? That's the first video I've ever done that. Usually I had the VHS tapes here, but it's kind of late in the night. And I just wanted to review this just for, have a video up, because I don't think I've uploaded in a couple days. So here he is. And I'm actually, Black Series to me, um, if you've seen one of my videos, go check out my last Black Series video, or one with Ray and I think uh, Finn and Kylo Ren. And I think I did one with Chewbacca and luke skywalker or something i'm not for sure i'm looking at the wall that's where the audio may be different but this figure i was really amazed because for 20 bucks no but for five bucks yes um i also picked up a lot of these past few days some seven inch scale figures i didn't post on the sanctuary and i have not done a haul video if you guys wanted me to do a haul video i can and i'd be very happy all you have to type in is do haul video and i'll show you the other figure um, I got, I think, four of these types of Star Wars figures the past few days. Two were Black Series, and two were the budget figures, or the bargain figures at, uh, Dollar General. No, I got five, because one I got from, uh, Walgreens, and that was, a uh, pretty cool, and it was two bucks at Walgreens. And she, yes, she, is pretty cool. Captain Cassian has quite a bit of articulation, he has quite a bit of detail, he has some accessories, he even has a freaking holster that I didn't realize out of the package, and it clips. The T-1000 doesn't even clip on that figure, so I think this thing is really cool, because I didn't know it clipped, and I, you know, I wanted this figure to go with Jen or so, so that was the only reason I bought it, and it was five bucks. So, you can see it pops in, and you can slide the blaster out, which looks pretty cool and I'll beat that out for the rest of the review I think but you can see that there pretty cool it's kind of a rubbery material so the two guns he comes with are this kind of bigger gun which is just a kind of a gray just a you know one of those stupid gray colors but they it looks okay still I think it's probably uh maybe a, a imperial gun I can't really tell the rifles or whatever. And then this gun right here has got some nice blacks and silver on it. And then it's also got the same gray. You can see there's black there. Some here on the shiny materials. If you've watched this video now, type in Ready Player One down in the description. If you want me to see, if you want me to do a movie review on that, I'd be kind of okay with that too. And his other accessory, you may not even know it's on here. But guess what? It's removable. And I didn't even know this. I was like, that's 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 really cool. So you can kind of see that there. It's kind of not, got nice some sculpting in there. And this is a whole rubbery material here. Uh, this is sculpted pretty nice too as well. Not the retro blasting for some reason. I don't know. I guess I think he's worn something like this before. 
They use these glasses, I'm not for sure. See the nice detailing there. Oh, there's a little red on there. Pretty cool looking. I think a head sculpt uh, is pretty good. The paint is not amazing on this, but I think it's okay. I want to get really, really close on this. I think that's sculpted with some paint on there. Next kind of a bug in me because it's so, so obvious uh, that it's like black around the edges. See if, you know, I might need to paint that, but I'm not going to. Um, if you leave it forward, it seems to be fine. Eyes look really good to the actor. The hair, I think, it looks like this in the movie. So I'm going to say that's pretty good. And it's a pretty good looking hair, too. Kind of reminds me of hair back uh, when I was in kindergarten. Or actually, when I was in fifth grade. In kindergarten. Kindergarten was way longer. Not as long as it is now, but, you know. Kind of see that there. Nice sculpting. Uh, oh, that's nice sculpting, too. Well, I didn't even know there was a hoodie thing there. I figured it was, because... We'll look at it, but you know, these right here reminds me of the outfit Han Solo wears in Empire Strikes Back, which is, I think, what they were trying to go for, because that would not make sense if they had, like, a new outfit. It would make sense, because, you know, we have outfits that are similar. See the brown shoes here? Pretty cool. Uh, I can run down articulation pretty fast. I just want to see all this articulation. I want to just say that I the last figure on the, the last review on these Black Series figures is really harsh, and I also did a harsh review. I've done really past reviews that are really harsh and one was on the ultimate part two freddy which is oh gosh <laughs> there goes all my pencils right here and if you go want to see that video go check that down in the disc or in the uh, in my video uploads man my pencils just fell on the floor man but you can also see he's wearing an under shirt which i think is the shirt he wears in the movie uh, i don't think this is removable i don't yeah there's no way uh, but let's go on articulation, shall we? So the articulation, I'm going to hold the figure out so far so you can see the whole thing. Uh, if you're watching this on a 360 or an Xbox One on your TV. If you're watching this on an iPad, I don't know if the detail would still be as prominent. And if you're watching this on an iPhone, I don't think you'd be able to see very much. But I guess, I don't know. Um, the articulation is the head will turn around, go up and down. It doesn't turn because... Not a ball joint, which is kind of sad, but uh, they go up pretty far. They rotate all the way forward, back. You know, the elbows will bend and they'll swivel. Hands will swivel, and I think the hand on this one right here will go well. This one goes up and down, and this one goes forward and back, which I don't know why they do that on these figures, but it's different. Right here to swivel at the waist, or look a little weird, look at like that. Doing that. Same thing with the hand. Handle swivel. See what I did there. Head will swivel. Oh, can't do it with the head. But uh, yeah, handle swivel. I've seen that before. Uh, forward, back, ab crunch. Feet will go forward and back because this is a rubberized material here. Want it to be focused. Nice sculpting in there too. I like that. Looks really cool. Knees are double jointed so you can get a nice bend there. And there are swivel up there too so they also go out and they also swivel cut right there but mine are really tight and i don't want to break the joint right here at the feet they're at that weird angle so they pivot or something and they they go forward and back pose number one pose number two pose number three pose number number four you can kind of just like yeah i'm gonna shoot you did, did i already do this pose i don't i don't know looks so cool i can't remember and toys r us online i saw or whatever was that Toys R Us? Walmart! Okay. Oh, I feel bad there. I've done that twice now. The sanctuary, I said something about Toys R Us, and then I was like, oh. It's like, scratch that, and they were like, they, you know, they were like, uh-huh. Like, didn't mean to offend. It's not offending, it's just, like, sad. Because it's an old pal that we probably won't see for a while, but, you know, we, we probably won't ever see again, maybe. But, you know, I always keep forgetting, because I'm just going to remember it always remembering being alive because there's no way Toys R Us is dead. Toys R Us is not dead, okay? But his pose on the thing of Walmart, I think, was like with both guns. It's like that looks pretty cool, pretty cool. Kind of having the Terminator pose there. You know, the Terminator figure I don't even think had this much joint because I was like, why can't you get the gun up here so well? The Terminator figure, I'm not going to pull it out because my figures are in boxes. Hint, that's what I do. Um, but uh, yeah. Didn't know what I was going to say.
for a height comparison, I'm going to put Captain Cassian right here. Flattish on the ground. Here's the Marvel Select Deadpool. Just pull him off the top shelf. Here is a NECA NES or the video game Rambo. And I think that's all I'm going to pull off the shelf. And you can kind of see that there at a certain angle. He's really short because he's six inches. But if I get another type of figure in, I, I'm just kidding. That figure will not fit over here. But um, you can kind of get a nice height comparison there. <laughs> Speaking of this figure, you want to see reviews? You want to see a review on this freaking figure right here? This is all I have. But uh, I could review this guy. Get to night, like know him better because he's just on my shelf and I just got him. I paid 10 little bucks for this sucker and 10 bucks for a present for somebody. Well, actually, it was free, it had been eight dollars, but that's not the point. Today on After School Reviews, we were having a look at the Captain Cassian andor Edu Black Series six inch figure or seven inch. I'm not really sure. Seven inch is everything I have except the stupid NECA eight inch. Uh, uh, Nego style. Yeah. So this figure I think is pretty cool. If you can pick him up for five bucks and you haven't picked him up yet. I think for a Star Wars figure, I think Black Series, he's pretty cool looking. And, you know, if you like Rogue One, I do. Five bucks ain't bad, you know. Go to the counter. Five times eight is... What's five times eight? Oh, gosh. Forty. So it'd be like five dollars and forty cents. So five dollars and forty cents walking into your Walmart... Putting that down and walking out with this guy, I think that's pretty good. Somewhere I saw the Black Series Kylo Ren, like the Lux figures or something, with the from the newly uh, the Last Jedi, and they were five bucks wherever that was at. I saw it on Instagram and I was like, wherever that's at, I want one because mine are thirty and we just got them in. So I don't know if it was fake or not, but that's freaking awesome. So. Thank you guys for watching After School Reviews. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that bell icon for when I go live, if I go live, and when I do weekend uploads. Sneak peek for next episode.